quick little tour of my drink bar that I keep in my kitchen. And I think that a lot of people ask me about this piece. I got it from Wayfair and it's for hot chocolate, coffee, and tea. I'm gonna show you how I store everything in here and how we use it to do a lot of entertaining. The first thing you should know is when I am doing entertaining with a lot of people, I'll go ahead and open these two, um, these two doors because it just lets people know they can get in there and get the stuff that is in there. It's not for show. So on this side at the bottom, I actually keep my assorted hot chocolates. I have cinnamon, mint, raspberry, and regular in there. My sister likes hot chocolate when she comes over. And then I've got peppermint stir sticks and a little carafe that keeps drinks hot or cold for a really long time. So I can set that out when I'm having just a few people over and I want to keep drinks out. I've got my little Starbucks mini cups that my kids like to drink out of and then my Alice teacup collection. And up top I've got a pitcher that is nice for serving, a little tin of tea, and then chips. Oh, on this side we have some adult beverages saying hello. We don't drink a lot but I like to have a little bit on hand for mixed drinks. And then I have my Mod Pod pot which is great for serving tea to a small group. And then another large carafe. I love this for coffee or apple cider when I'm having um, bigger pe parties because people can pour as they please. And then stevia, sugar, and Splenda packets, some raw organic honey, some honey sticks, and stir sticks. Here is where all the magic happens. I do tend to change this sign out for the seasons. And then we've got our red Keurig. We love just the basic Keurig. We've tried fancier things. And honestly, my husband drinks coffee every day and we come back to this every time. Sweet and simple. Our people know how to use it, so we love it. Then I have some pumpkin matcha. That's what I'm currently drinking a lot of. You can mix this in anything at all, food or liquid. So I keep it out. I've got our sugar. And then some cute little festive straws. You can get these in the tar Target dollar spot. Um, this little honey stick goes in here. And then these are flavored honeys. Right now I have cinnamon and regular out. And one of these is the perfect size for a cup of tea. I also keep several different types of creamers on hand. These are not what my husband uses every day, but they're for guests just so they don't feel like they have to get into our fridge because I know sometimes people feel weird about that. So I don't, I go over to people's house and eat and <laughs> help myself. <laughs> but just so people feel comfortable and know that these are creamers they can use and there's a variety of different ones because I know you coffee lovers love your choices. And then I keep some little throwaway cups there because they're easy for people to write their names on and keep track of during um, parties or I visits. I love these little drawers right here because you can store extra K-cups, hot chocolates, creamers, whatever you've got. And then if I open these up, you're going to see some beautiful glassware that in the middle my neighbor Himesh brought us back from India. I have a couple other just pretty stuff up there and then um, some watches that I'm not currently using as well as a little sugar. Now let's go down below. I keep all of our K-cups right here in this drawer and I try to keep a nice selection for different types of coffee drinkers. Then we have my tea drawer. This is for all my fruit teas. This is for my herbals. Here are the rooibos teas. Black teas, and white, green, oolong, and pu'er are in this drawer. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Five drawers dedicated to tea and one to Here's coffee. just extra storage. I've got some little Christmas cups. I like to give those as gifts with like candy and things in them. Extra creamers and then some and over stuff. here we have mugs. These are like everyday mugs, things that we reach for pretty often. Down here are some plain white mugs along with some mugs from places we visited or my friend Anne actually bought, brought me back this one from Germany. And 
we've got some more fun mugs over here, some little character mugs, and then down below I've got all my Christmas mugs, which I feel like is a growing, ever expanding collection. <laughs> But I love Christmas mugs. I actually host an annual mug exchange every year. And we give prizes out for the people who bring the best mugs. So it's kind of a fun little new tradition we've started. Oops, saw this little spot of coffee while I was down there in the floor panning up. There we go. Could not let that go. And here we are. This is my fall drink bar with coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and I can't wait to have a lot of people over to enjoy it. And then we will stock it again around the holidays with some fun, fresh decor and mugs and drink mixes. So thanks for watching.